sensitivity is a condition with symptoms similar to those of celiac, and actually these symptoms do improve on a gluten-free diet. The difference, however, is that in patients with gluten sensitivity, these patients do not have damage to the small intestine, and they also don't mount the elevated antibody levels to gluten that patients with celiac have. Gluten sensitivity is pretty common. It affects 18 million people worldwide, which is 6% of the population. And those numbers seem to be rising in the pediatric population as well. The GI symptoms of gluten sensitivity include things like abdominal pain, bloating and cramping, diarrhea, or constipation. Whereas the non-GI symptoms include things like headache, depression, foggy brain, joint pain, and numbness in the arms and legs. Gluten sensitivity is a diagnosis of exclusion, and what that means is we have to eliminate a couple of other things before we can arrive at that conclusion. And so first of all, we must rule out celiac disease as a cause of the symptoms, as well as a true wheat allergy. If a patient is diagnosed with a food intolerance, I'll work with them to uh, change their diet, to take any of those foods out and replace them with foods that you know they can tolerate well, and just to ensure that they stay you know on a nutritious diet throughout the whole time. You know I'll work with them with their you know camp or school with the daycare center just to make sure that you know when it's out of the caretaker's hands and when they're you know away from the home that you know they they are compliant on the diet.